Hello everyone and welcome to the lesson. This is uh, calculus ECC 2019 paper 1 question number 24. It's about uh, stationary points, tangent and normal to a curve. So let's go straight to the question. It reads The equation of a curve is y is equal to x cubed plus x squared minus x minus 1. Determine part 1 the stationary points of the curve that is 3 max. Part 2, the nature of the stationary points in A above. And then B, part 1, the equation of the tangent to the curve at x is equals to 1. Then part 2, the equation of the normal to the curve at x is equals to 1. So those are the questions. So I want us to go through them and see how we are supposed to solve. Let's begin with the first one, which is... Um, the stationary points of the curve. So that is the first one. Now, the most important thing to note here as we begin is that at stationary point, at stationary point of the curve, the gradient at that point should be equal to zero. That is dy over dx should be zero at that stationary point. Now we need to get uh, the differential function. We, di we differentiate this equation of this curve. This is what you get, 3x squared plus uh, 2x minus 1. That is what you get when you differentiate. Now, we've said that at stationary point, the gradient should be 0. So, we equate this gradient to 0, the one that we've got. So, this is what you get. Now, look, this one forms a quadratic equation. You can use any suitable method to solve this equation. You can use a factorization method. And also, you can use um, any other suitable method. I've already done this and... Uh, this is what I got uh, through factorization. x plus 1, 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. And when you work out this, you get um, x is equals to 1, negative 1, or a third. So use any suitable method. Now, to get the point, we need to get the corresponding y value. So when x is equals to negative 1, what is the y value? In order to get the coordinate of the point. So we are going to use that equation, the function of the curve, to get the value of y. This is what you get. Um, when you substitute um, x is equal to negative 1 in that function, y is equal to x cubed plus x squared minus x minus 1, uh, we shall obtain um, the value of y. When x is negative 1, we substitute. Um, this one should give um, 0. I think it's 0 should be 0, negative 1 plus 1. Yeah, it should give, give 0. So therefore, the first stationary point will be negative 1, 0. That is the first one. Now, since we have two values of, of x at a stationary point, we need to get the other point. There are two stationary points. So when now x is equals to a third, when x is equals to a third, what is the corresponding y value? So when x is equals to 1 over 3, we use the same function of the curve, y is equals to x cubed plus x squared minus x minus 1. When we substitute these, x is equals to that in that function, we get y value as um, so we get it as uh, we are using that function y is equal to x cubed plus x squared minus x is equal to 1. And that one should give uh, negative 1 and 5 over 27. You can also decide to use the decimal uh, decimal point instead of using fraction. All of them will be acceptable. So the second stationary point, therefore, will give when x is third, y is uh, negative 1, 5 over 27. So those are the two stationary points. And that is how you get the stationary points. Now, let's go to the other part of the question. Now, we have to determine the nature of the stationary points in A above. So, the two stationary points that we have um, obtained, we need to determine their nature. Determining their nature means uh, you determine whether they are maximum points, minimum points, or points of inflection. So, to do that, we shall get the second derivative of that function. And uh, the second derivative, if the second derivative gives us uh, something like negative, something less than zero, that will be a maximum point. 
if the second derivative gives a, a value that is greater than zero, then that automatically becomes a minimum point. So that is what we need to establish in this um, part of the question. Now to do that, uh, since we have the first uh, derivative, the first derivative is dy over dx and um, dy dx was got it somewhere here it is somewhere there the top 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 that was the first derivative now the second derivative we have to do uh, to differentiate that again to get the second derivative which you get uh, 6x plus 2 so now to get uh, the value whether it should be a maximum or minimum when x is equals to negative 1 that was the first stationary point when uh, x is equals to negative 1 i think that is um uh, when you substitute um when x is equals to negative 1 i think i've left something there something i'm leaving here i have to go back i'm trying to go back here uh, to correct that so that value is negative one that is what i was wanted to correct so when x is equals to negative one at the first stationary point when you substitute in that second derivative you get negative four so that since we've said that if the value is less than um, zero it will be a maximum point so therefore x is equals to uh, negative one at that point at that point where x is equals to negative one that one represents a maximum point now what about the other point because there are two when x is um so that point negative one zero that is a maximum point now when x is equals to a third that is the second point we substitute um x in that second derivative and when you do that you realize this will be six so that we are substituting in the function in the expression of the second derivative this gives a uh, four so you notice that this will be positive so if the second derivative gives a positive value then that becomes the minimum point so therefore at x is equals to 1 over 3 that point that is at that um, specific area is a minimum point so we have determined uh, the two stationary points one is um, maximum x is equals to negative one then the other point is uh, x is equals to a third that is um, minimum point now let's go to the other question uh, which is uh, determine the equation of the tangent to the curve at x is equals to one the equation of the tangent at x is equals uh, to the curve of the tangent to the curve at x is equals to 1. Now, to get the equation of a line, we need a point and gradient. And um, we can get the gradient. We can get the gradient of that um, tangent. So the gradient of that tangent at x is equals to 1, we shall use the gradient function of the curve. Uh, the gradient of that tangent at that point uh, of the curve uh, we got that by differentiating got that uh, dy dx will be 3x squared plus 2x uh, minus that is a gradient uh, of the curve at that point x is equals to 1 now when x is equals to 1 that point we substitute this uh, value of x and um, this will give um, the gradient at that point so is it negative 1 i think it is not negative 1 now uh, it is the gradient of the curve at that point x is equals to one it's confusing that with the stationary point so now when x is equals to one uh the gradient which is dy dx which i denote as m the same thing we substitute there we get three plus two minus one this is five that will give four the gradient is four the gradient of the tangent at that point x is equals to one is four now, to get the equation of that tangent, we need uh, to get uh, one point on that uh, tangent. And we can we have uh, x is equals to 1, that is the x value. So we need to get the corresponding y value. And to get the y value, we shall use the equation of the curve to get y. 
the equation of the curve is y is equals to x cubed plus x squared minus x minus 1. So when you substitute x is equals to 1, we get that point as um, 0. So at that point, uh, 1, 0, that is the point, and we have the gradient as 4. So having the gradient as 4, and you have the point, we just need to introduce another general point x, y in order to get the equation of that line. So introduce another point, general point x, y on the same, same tangent. And um, getting the gradient uh, change in y over change in x using 1, 0 and x, y, we get uh, 4. And put that over 1 and then you cruise multiply. This one will give uh, y is equals to 4 x minus 4 as the equation of the tangent. So that is simply how we get the equation of the tangent. Now, let's get, um, so we got the gradient as 4, then we went ahead and got a point, and uh, we got the equation. Now, the equation of the normal to the curve, the equation of the normal to the curve at that point x is equals to 1. Note that the normal is perpendicular to the tangent. The normal is perpendicular to the tangent. And if that is the case, the gradient of the normal multiplied by the gradient of the tangent should give negative 1. If two lines are perpendicular, the product of their gradient should give negative 1. Now we have the gradient of the tangent as 4. Uh, so getting the gradient of the normal easy, that one will give uh, negative 1 over 4. Now if we have negative 1 over 4, and then we have the point which is a 1, you know, the point will be the same when x is equals to 1. Since you're using the same uh, function of the curve, so the same point will be shared there. So 1, 0, we have 1, 0 on the normal. That is the point on the normal. And then we have uh, the gradient of the normal is negative 1 over 4. Now, take that uh, point, 1, 0, and a general point x, y. Use the 2 to calculate um, the equation of the curve. So change in y y minus 0 change in x is equals to the gradient of the normal, negative 1 over 4. Cruise multiply these. When you cruise multiply these, you get 4y is equals to negative 1 multiplied by x minus 1. And this gives uh, 4y is equals to negative x plus 1. Dividing all through by 4, we get y is equals to negative x over 4 plus 1 over 4 as the equation of the normal. And that is simply how we're supposed to solve that question on the tangents to the curve stationary points.